So on November 8th, 9th, and 10th, a lot of people are going to be watching NASCAR's semifinal race at ISM Raceway. What drivers are going to be those final four drivers racing for a championship at Homestead Miami Speedway the following week? But guys, there's going to be a champion crowned at ISM Raceway on November 9th in the K&M Pro Series for the West Division. This is the Inside Lane. I'm Devin Henry. And to get us ready and to kind of set up the second half of this k and season, we are bringing on a third generation driver. He's a 2018 Kern County Raceway Park Track champion, a rookie in the K&M Pro Series West. He's the driver of the XYO number six Sunrise Ford Racing Ford Fusion from Scottsdale, Arizona. It's Jagger Jones. Jagger, thanks for joining me, man. No problem. Thanks for having me on the show. Hey, it's great to have you on. Like I mentioned, a Scottsdale resident. You're not a native of Arizona, but you've grown up here in the desert. We just had our first ever NASCAR Cup Series winner come from Arizona, being Alex Bowman from Tucson. So Arizona's kind of growing, but I guess my number one thing to ask you is growing up in Arizona, you drive pavement for the most part. There's Lake Havasu, there's Tucson, you lived in Scottsdale. So why the heck are you still living here in Arizona? And how hard is it to go out and find places to race growing up? Yeah, it's definitely been tricky. I grew up racing go-karts since I was about nine years old, which we have a great track. If you guys don't know, out at P PKRA, out by um, the water park out there off the I-17. So I grew up racing there is where I started. But once I got... Um, a little more hooked into racing and we started traveling around i pretty much went to california 25 times a year to go race go-karts um, just to get race against more competition um, traveled all around so that was definitely um, a lot of work living in arizona going to california a lot um, to race and then once i started racing nascar stuff it, it was just about the same i went to race 20 races in california um, in the my late model program, which I ran 2017 and 2018. So that's a lot of driving, a lot of plane flights. Um, but now with the K&N series, it's a, maybe a little bit easier because no matter where you live, we're going to have to travel around because we race from Tucson to Iowa to St. Louis to Sonoma. So it's definitely a, um, a pretty distant schedule. So you come from a long line of very good racing heritage. Like I mentioned, a third generation driver. A lot of racing fans can probably name them, name them off. Your grandpa Parnelli is an Indianapolis 500 champion. Your dad, PJ, he won in basically anything that had wheels and an engine in it. They're kind of from California. Your grandpa started back east, and of course, Indianapolis is back east as well, but kind of figured in that California area. How did they end up coming to Arizona for Scottsdale and you end up starting racing in go-karts. Yeah, for sure. Like you said, my grandpa um, grew up back east and then moved to California, and that's where he had his, his shop where he ran his IndyCar team, and then he eventually had his F1 team out of Torrance, California, in the same shop they still have today. So it's pretty cool that um, you don't see that a lot with the West Coast now, but when my dad was um, in his young, young or middle or so 20s he moved to arizona I, that was when he was racing sports cars and then when he transitioned to indy car i don't even know exactly i might have to ask him why he <laughs> picked arizona why he moved here but um i love arizona i love the desert the summers are a little rough but that's usually a pretty big race season so i'm not here a lot so that makes it pretty great for the rest of the month there you go that that's not a bad plan most people just moved to flagstaff for the summer and said you're going across most of the nation. That works too, I guess. But you're 16 years old, and you're trying to chase this NASCAR dream. For those of you doing the math, that means you're going to your senior year at Notre Dame Prep. What is it like mixing the life of going to school with the life of racing across the nation, trying to become a pro race car driver? It's not like just high school football where, hey, we have a game in Nevada this week, but the rest of the year we're based at our high school. Yeah, so it can become pretty difficult at times, and I just really need the support from a lot of people, from my teachers to my school, and I've 
I've really gotten that at Notre Dame, which is pretty awesome. The deans and the principals and everyone have been very understanding of my schedule and understanding of um, me missing school, but because they know it's for uh, a career that I'm chasing, a dream that I'm chasing, not just because I decide not to show up. So that's been um, pretty great with Notre Dame. That's one of the reasons why I think I've been able to stay there and I'll be able to finish my high school there. It, it's pretty tricky, though, sometimes missing school when you miss a week of school and then you have to come back and make up all the work. But I've been able to keep my grades up, been on the honor roll. So that's been um, pretty great. And I haven't had too much issues um, with any uh, teachers or anything or with the school. They've been very accepting, like I said. And it's funny, though, some of it's crazy. All my friends and stuff, they play football, um, other sports, like golf basketball and then I don't think some of them understand exactly what I'm doing <laughs> traveling around because a lot of my friends like Brock Locknikar, Cade Bennett, a lot of them are, are going to pretty great schools for to play football and then it's racing is just so much different um, just the way you get picked up by teams by, uh, by sponsors all of that is just so much different than really any of the sports sport I can think of especially football or any other high school sports. We talk a lot about Cade and Brock over here at Sports 360 AZ covering high school football. So it's cool to talk to a high school racer, if you will. It's a little bit different, but we're talking with Jagger Jones here on the inside lane, k and Pro Series West rookie, and right now in the hunt for the championship. Third in points, 17 points behind your leader, Derek Krause, and then Haley Deegan is only eight points behind Derek, but you're right there. You're in the mix fighting with these guys, but this is your first ever time in a big, heavy, lots of horsepower kind of stock car moving up from the late models. What's the biggest thing that you've learned so far in the first seven races of the year? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely been a, a learning experience, but I've been, I think I'm, me and the team have been pretty uh, proud of how, we, how we've been. We've been fighting for wins, been pretty decently fast at a lot of the races. But I think the biggest thing I've learned is, is just the whole racing. Um, it, it gets really aggressive, especially a, f a full body stock car um, compared to a late model necessarily. A late model, it's hard to just run into someone and push someone out of the way because you really chance wrecking your own car, wrecking um, a lot of other people's car. And it's more, I would say, less contact racing. But it seems the K&N series this year has been a full contact race since the drop of the green flag. So it's been uh, a little learning experience in that way to not let other people push me around. Got to push them a little bit back. Um, just try to finish all the races. I mean, I'm 17 points behind the championship, but I can say if three last lap crashes didn't happen, I think I would be pretty much in the lead of the championship. But you know what they say, like, of course, it's easy to say that in sitting here talking on the phone than when it happened in the race but so it's just been a little things like that I think we could we can clean up for the rest of the season and really have a even a shot for the championship and not a lot of people see racing as a, a physically and mentally tolling sport but what has been more challenging to overcome moving into the stock cars is it more of a mental challenge or more so of a larger mental challenging aspect or more of a physically challenging aspect when you get to trying to manhandle those stock cars? Um, physically, it's definitely something I take in mind. I mean, I work out a ton, uh, make sure I'm real. It's really just the heat is what gets to you in those long races, and especially like the road course in Sonoma. Um, you're sitting there on the red flag. The car is hot behind the engine. Uh, you don't have your air conditioning on, and it feels like you're sitting in a, a, a locked, um, car, a turned off car in the middle of Arizona summer. So that, that gets pretty hard. But if you just train your, your body and make sure you're good, um, it's not like football where the stronger you are, the better your play. Racing is more if, you, if you're strong enough to withstand the heat and not let it affect you, then you'll, you'll be good. So it's mostly been the, the mental part, like you said. Uh, just trying to learn all the new tracks. For, for me, I haven't this year, I'll we go to 13 different racetracks and I've only been to two of them before. So that's been definitely a, a process of um, every weekend having to show up, learn a completely new track that I've never seen in my life. So um, that's been pretty mentally challenging, but 
um, I don't think it's uh, anything that can stop us. And like I mentioned, the championship race for the K&M Pro Series West will be in your backyard in Avondale, Arizona at ISM Raceway. And we mentioned kind of having a couple of those last lap or late race crashes that have kind of pushed you back to 17 points behind, but you're still there in that championship hunt. What for you needs to change? What adjustments do you need to make to be right there with Derek and Haley when you come to your house here at ISM Raceway in November? Yeah, for, so Phoenix is going to be a whole, or a whole different deal than uh, what I've been used to. I've grew up, grown up the past couple of years racing short tracks, and Phoenix is about two and, a, or two and a half times bigger than any track that I've raced on to this date. So uh, we go to Iowa in, a, in two weeks, which will be a little bit of a learning experience for the bigger tracks like Phoenix and Gateway. So I think once we go there, we'll have a better idea um, – it's super cool to be racing at ISM Raceway. I mean, I've growing up being a huge racing NASCAR fan and it being in my family. I've always been living here in Phoenix. I've always gone out there for the cup races and watched, uh, met some of my idols, heroes like Jimmy Johnson and a bunch of other drivers. And to just be standing there at, as a eight year old watching the cup race, I just didn't think in eight years I'd be racing. Uh, myself at ISM Raceway so that's going to be super cool uh, like a humbling experience for me um, I'm super excited so before I let you go we're going to do a segment I do with every driver it's called quick time I got some rapid fire questions I'm looking for some rapid fire answers in return you ready to set quick time I'm ready all right man what has been your biggest career highlight so far at almost 17 years of age and why I think winning the Kern County Raceway Late Model Championship was pretty awesome to win my first stock car championship. That was super cool. What car have you not driven yet that you're going, that right there, even if it's just for one race, that's a dream car to race? NASCAR Cup Series car. Good answer, good answer. What is your favorite track to race at, regardless of what you're racing and why? Uh, my favorite track is Kern County Raceway. I've won a lot of races there. <laughs> a little bit of, so, of experience. Uh, yeah, when you win at a racetrack, it's always fun to drive at, for sure. And of course, we mentioned there's a, there's a track in Lake Havasu, there's a track in Tucson, and so not a lot of success of Arizona payment drivers moving up through the ranks, but you're doing it right now. If there was a younger, I know you're pretty young, but if there's a younger driver from Arizona who would ask you for advice how to get to where you are while racing from Arizona. What would you tell them? Um, I've raced at Lake Havasu, and it's a great track. I've won a couple races there. Tucson, I did the K&N race there. Also a great track with great super late model programs. I think that's great. Maybe if you can, go over to um, – Air, or go over to California. Irwindale Speedway has a bunch of great racing options from legends to, to late models. And if you're even younger, go karts. That's where I started racing. Um, I'm still out there almost every week, week coaching some kids. So um, I think one of those options is your best bet. And lastly, before I let you go, I need some short track tips on I racing. What do you got for me, man? I'm just like, Mid, mid split, I'm still trying to win those races. What can I do better on a short track? Uh, Got to keep the, keep the car under you. If it's sliding, you're not going anywhere. If you're, or your front tires are sliding, you're just pushing up the racetrack, not going anywhere. If the rear tires are sliding and you're sideways, you're also not going as fast as if the car was under you. That's my best advice for high racing. Thank you. I need help, man. I need help. No. Uh, Jagger, thank you so much for being here on the inside lane. It's going to be so much fun to watch you progress and run through the rest of this year. Happy early 17th birthday, first of all. The Canaan Pro Series West back in action next Saturday at Iowa. Be ready for that championship race here at ISM Raceway on November 9th. Jagger, again, thank you so much for your time. Hope to talk to you more in the future and hope your grandfather is doing a little bit better, man. Yeah, thank you. So thank you for the birthday wish and uh, I'm happy to be racing hopefully i'll see some of you guys out at phoenix later this year and follow me on instagram at jagger um follow me on twitter uh all the other facebook all the other social media great I'll plug post a lot on there great plug not enough people do that on the show thank you for doing that jagger <laughs>
This is the inside no lane here on Sports 360 AZ. I'm Devin Henry. Be sure to check out all of our other motorsports stuff on the site, and we will see you guys as we get ready for the K&M Pro Series Championship race at ISM Raceway on November 9th.